Okay, let's examine the extrude command. I'm going to start by creating an offset plane um, from the origin. I'll go off this face. And I'll just pull it out three inches. <clears throat> I'm going to actually create the sketch. Um, I couldn't create a sketch on that plane that we originally did the offset from. Um, I'm going to hit S for shortcut. I'm going to do my center rectangle origin, and we'll just go 6, five, 8, and we're going to do a circle also, we'll snap the origin, we'll call that 3 inch radius, or diameter rather. Okay, so I'm going to stop that sketch, and we're going to ex examine the extrude panel here a little bit. So um, we've got our sketch in place, let's hit E for extrude, um, I'm going to start by extruding this rectangle. I'm going to click both profiles. Now I can pull it out from here and it'll generate fine, but we're looking at this panel today and I want to look at where I start it. Instead of starting it at the profile plane, I'm going to start it from um, and do a couple things. An offset plane. Let's see if I can do from object. So now I can click on that original plane that I offset three inches. And the good thing about that is it's parametric backwards. So if I go OK, um, and then I adjust that extrudes now, or the offset, let's say I make it four inches now. Now, as you can see, that uh, rectangle extrusion has been pulled out to there. So that's pretty cool. Um, but we can go further with the extrude command. Let's go ahead and turn our sketch back on. And now we're going to extrude, we're extrude the circle. Now we can. You can always pull it through here and cut. It automatically does that cut. But let's look at um, let's look at the start from object. I'm going to start it on this face. And now our distance, we can change that to Start from object. There we go. Okay, so now our now we can pull that out and we go minus two. So and then now it's joining, which is great. Um, we can also one thing I want to show you guys is that you can taper. So we've done from object. We've done offset planes the same as from object, but you get to choose how far off the print profile plane you do. Um, you can do off one side, you can do two sides, which is great because then you can uh, I can make one side minus four, um, and make the other side minus six. Turn off my sketch. And now I also want to show you guys taper angle, which is can be very useful on uh, complex geometry. It's not going to work very well, but uh, you can do like minus five. On that side, and then on this side, go positive five. And there you go. So that's the extrude command or extrude function. Um, you can also do things like you can, instead of generating, instead of joining, you can make this become a new body. And then if you scroll down your bodies, now you've got two bodies. You've got the, the first one and the second. Um, what else can we do with it? We can obviously cut it. Um, if we intersect it, we're just going to get the parts that are um, in both bodies. Okay, now we've got, got that little peanut butter kit cup shape, rather a Rolo almost. Um, let's just go ahead and offset that to make this Rolo.
And obviously the appearance needs to be just brown. Change that to color. And find our Rolo color. Mm. Mocha. Save that, and I will upload this into the um, gallery, and you guys can monkey around with it and see how I how I did the extrude command. So I hope that helps, and have a great day.